Good morning, dear students. Now we will continue our video about the revision for first primary from the beginning of the term. Now we will talk about the tens and the units. Uh, if I have any number of uh, consists of more than one digit, so the first digit from my left hand is the unit, then the next one will be the tens. Each digit has a house, unit and tens. Okay, here I want to count how many fish did I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So each ten are only one in the house of tens. Only one. Okay, I will I will try an example. Here I have some pencils. I want to count and know how many tens and how many units. <coughs> okay, I will count one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I will stop at ten. When I complete ten, there will be only one in the house of tens. So now I have one ten. Then I will complete counting. I have one, two, three, four. They are only four. They are less than ten. So I have four units. So now I have one tens and only four units. Okay, now we will make a revision about the tens and the pound. If I have 10 papers of one pound, so they are equal to only one paper from the 10 pound. Again, if I have 10 from the paper of one pound, they are equal to 10 pounds, which is only one paper. Here I have uh, how many papers of tens and how many papers of pounds I have to count. I have one pound, one pound and one pound, so I have three pounds, so I have three pounds. And how many papers of tens? I want to count the paper of ten, I have one and two, so I have two tens. So my total number is twenty-three. Okay. More examples. If I have six tens and three pounds, so six tens means six paper of tens in which they are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So they are 60. I'm counting them by tens. And three pounds, so I have 60 plus three, like these papers one, two, three. So I have 60 plus three will be 63 pounds. Okay, if I have four tens, when I see the word ten, so I'm counting by 10. 10, 20, 30, and 40. So I have 40 and six pounds, so they are only six. 40 and six will be 46. Okay, another one, I have six pounds. Six pounds means six. I will not count by tens, it's only six. So I have six and two tens. Two tens means 10, 20. So they are 20. We put zero beside the two because they are tens. So six plus 20 will be 26 pounds. Okay. Now we will talk about the place value. Each, each number has, or each digit has its value and its place value. For an example, I have here 52. Okay, we said before that each digit has a house. So the house of the two is unit. And the house of the five, which is at this side, is tens. This house is called place value. Okay, each digit has although a value. The value of the two is only two because it's unit. But the 5, its value is 50, as it is 10, we said before, we put 0 beside the digit, so it will be 50, because we are counting by 10. 50, it is called value. Value of 5 is 50, and the value for the 2 is 2. So we call the number 52, you say it 50 and 2. Okay, 
Another example, I have the 96. Okay. The value of the 6 is 6 because its place value is unit. So the, the first digit from the left hand is unit. We call it unit and we, its value is as it is. It will be 6 as it is. We will not put zeros. As for the 9, the another digit, it will be the tens. So its value is 90. Okay, now we will talk about comparing numbers. How to compare two numbers. Here if I have 24 and here I have 43. I want to compare which one is bigger or if they are equal. So first I have to look at the tens. I will compare only the tens from here and here as both of them are two digit numbers. Here the tens is two and here my tens is four. So the number which tens is bigger will be the bigger. Another one, I have 45 and 42. I will start to compare the tens for each number. Here I have its tens is four and here its tens is four though. What shall I do? I will look at the unit. Here my unit is five and here my unit is two. So which unit is bigger? Yes, the five. So 45 is bigger. Another one, I have 63 and 36. I have to look at the tens. Here my tens is six and here my tens is three. So the, uh, the six is bigger, so 63 is bigger. Okay, here I have 20 and 20. So both of them are equal, so they will be equal. Now we will talk about ordering numbers. To order the numbers in ascending or descending order. What does that mean by ascending? Ascending means we order them from the small to the big. I will start by the smallest number and so on, bigger and bigger then I reach the biggest one. This is called ascending order. And descending is to order them from the big to the small. I will start by the biggest number, then the smaller, smaller, and smallest. This is called descending order. As we do in the comparing, we have to compare the tenth digit, then I will go to the ones. And for sure, if I have two digit numbers, two digit number and one digit, so the two digit is bigger. Okay, let's try an example. Here I have 56, 67, 20, 49, and 40. I want to order them in an ascending order from the small number to the big one. Okay, so I have to look at the tens for each number. Here my tens is five, here I have six, here the tens is two, here the tens is four, and here my tens is four. So the smallest tens is the two. So the 20 is the smallest one. Then I will compare the other numbers. I have five, six, four, and four. So the smallest one is four, but I have 49 and 40. So I have to look at the unit. My unit here is nine, but my unit here is zero. So the, the zero is smaller, so the 40 is smaller than 49. After 40, sure, I have the 49. Okay, then I have the last two numbers, 56 and 67, which is smaller. I will look at the tens. My tens here is five, and my tens here is six. So five is smaller, so 56 is smaller than the 67. 67 is the last one. An example about the descending order. Here I want to order from the big to the small, descending. So I have to look, uh, here I have two digits, here I have one digit. So the one digit is the smallest number. Okay, I want to see the biggest one. So I will compare the two digit numbers. We have 50, 92, 39, and 10. Okay, so my tens here is five, my tens here is nine, three, and one. Which one has the biggest tens? 
uh, sure it's the 9 so 92 is the biggest one so I will start by 92 then I have 50 39 and 10 so my 10 here is 5 or 3 or 1 so the 5 is the biggest so the 50 is bigger than 39 and 10 so now I have 92 then 50 now I have 39 10 and 5 so here my tens is 3 here is 1 so the 39 is bigger than 10 so 39 then the 10 and the one digit is the smallest one now we will talk about the money okay we want to uh, know our Egyptian bank notes we have seven different Egyptian bank notes the uh, the smallest one, uh, the first one is one pound. I have one pound or one LE. I have five pounds. I have 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 50 pounds, 100 pounds, and 200 pounds or LE. Okay. This toy costs, um, we want to know how much money did I have to pay for this toy? I have, I have 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 5 pounds, 1 and 1. I will start by the biggest banknote, which is the 10. So I will add 10 and 10 is 20 pounds. Then I have 5, so 20 plus 5 will be, after 20 I have 5, so 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, so now 25. I still need to add more money uh, after 25 I have one pound so 26 and another one pound so it will be 27 so the price of this toy is 27 LE okay we will try another exercise about the money uh, I have a ball costs 35 LE, a car costs 42 LE, and a clock costs 51 LE. Okay, Ahmed has 30 pound, and he wants to buy the car. Can he buy the car? He has only 30 pounds, and the car costs 42, so he cannot buy the car. I want to know how much money does he need to buy? How can I help? Okay, I have uh, 10 pounds or five pounds or one pounds in my pocket. How can I help? He has 30. Okay, if I give him 10, so now he has 30 and 10 is 40. He still needs money. Okay, so I will give him, uh, now he has 40 and he needs 42. So he needs only another two pounds. So 40, okay, now we want to add the money. Uh, to know how much money did we have here I have 250 so 250 will be 250 LE here I have banknote of 50 and 20 so after 50 I have 20 so 60 and 70 okay and I have another 10 so it will be 80 so I have 80 LE here I have 100 and 20 so 100 plus 20 would be 120 and 5 so 125 and another one pound so it's 126 le okay thank you uh, meet you in the next video